Hello everyone, and today this video is going to focus on using the parameter set tool in ANSYS CFX to vary a boundary layer profile using the parameter alpha and then monitor the surface pressures on the surface of a cube. So we're using this parameter alpha to vary the boundary layer profile on coming to the cube. So that's the thing we want to control in this case. So I'm going to click users workbench input parameter and you can see that the designation here has changed. And if I close CFX Pre here, what you'll see is that in Workbench, the parameter set has already appeared. Moving to CFX Post, the things I want to monitor are the surface pressures at three points on the cube. So at the front face, at the top, and at the rear face. And I've done this by creating points, and they were created by going to location, point, and then selecting the coordinates of that point. So the next thing to do is create an expression. So just hover to the top and click on expression. In this case, I'm going to say pressure point one. So show me the pressure at point one. And I do this by using the probe function. We're going to use pressure as the thing that we're monitoring. I'm going to say at, and then it's going to be 0.1. And if I hit apply, what you'll get is the negative value of pressure for this rear surface point here. So I can repeat this. So if I duplicate and call it pressure point 0.2. I'll get a similar setup, but I just put the number 2 there, so that'll be this point on the top here. And do this one final time for point 0.3. So click, duplicate, pressure point 0.3. And again, just making sure where we're extracting the surface pressures from is correct. So you'll see that here we get positive pressure, which is exactly what you'd expect, considering this is stagnation on the front face of a cube, separation, and then wake region. So just left clicking on probe, and then right clicking. I want to use this as a workbench output parameter. So this is something I want to monitor. This is something I want to monitor, and so is this. So if we close, what you'll get is this parameter set here. So just double click on parameter set and now we can see the things that we can change. So this is our input here. Alpha, set at a value of 0 0.3 which is approximately 1 7th. You may recognize the term 1 7th power law to describe boundary layer profile. But what I'd like to do is vary alpha between 0 0.1 and 0 0.8 and see the influence that this has on the surface pressures. So I'm going to go 1.1, 0.2, 0 0.3, and just hitting enter every time to create a new line. Okay, so we have two options here. Either we can just run these simulations and get values of surface pressure, or we can click retain as well and that will keep every single data set. Obviously doing the latter is going to cause a lot more memory to be used. So if you've got a large case, this might not be ideal for you. But all I'm interested in here, the variation of pressure with alpha. So I'm going to click update all design points and then I'll see you once this is finished running. Okay, so now my simulation is completed and what you can see up here is the range of alphas that were tested. And if you look to the right, each column here has the pressure in pascals for each of the three points. So this point here, point three, was the front face, point two was the top face, and point one was the rear face. So we're actually seeing numbers which we probably wouldn't expect 
but that's because I only let the simulations run for a short amount of time in order to get through this run relatively quickly. So hopefully that was helpful and showed you how to use parameter set in a relatively simple manner. If you liked this video, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, queries or comments, just drop them in the comment section below.